Hello, everybody. Craig Peterson here. I was on with, of course, Mr. Jim Polito. And with him, I'm on parts of Vermont, uh, Central and Eastern Mass, Rhode Island, Connecticut. He has a big show that covers all kinds of territory. And so we're covering New England. What can I say with all of these different stations? I'm on in Vermont directly and all throughout New Hampshire and Maine and stuff. So it's just really cool. And without you guys, it just wouldn't be happening. So thank you. Thank you to you. And also, I got to mention, my, my podcast listens are way up. And again, thanks. Thank you to all of you guys. I so appreciate it. And to that end, I am going to, as of next week on Monday, I'm going to be opening up a course that I've put together. Yes, that course is the one I've been promising now for how many months? And uh, so this is as a thanks to you guys, I am going to be giving a, (laughs) I hope you're sitting down, basically two thirds, well, in fact, exactly two thirds off on this. You're going to be saving 200 bucks. I'm making it cheap, under $100. It's going to be 99 And it is going into the why and the how of doing your in window security, the basic security windows, the configuration settings you need to be doing. So keep an eye out for that on Monday. And by the way, here's a little secret, and it's going to be a surprise to a lot of people, but if you respond to to my email newsletter, if you've responded to my email newsletter, and you told me that you were interested in proving you would know security, if that happens before Monday, I'm also going to be giving you a special coupon that only you guys will get. And that coupon, it will be good for two months. And you can share that with your friends so that your friends can get a two-thirds discount on the improving Windows security course so it's really important that all you guys get this course it is so important and it's going to help prove to my wife that it's worth me spending all of these hours every week in fact at least a day a week is dedicated to putting together all this stuff the newsletter and the radio show and all these other appearances so to convince her that it's worth it to do all of this that you guys appreciate it and it's a great way to show it. So if you go to one of my newsletters, even an older one, and you say yes, hit reply and put IWS in the subject line, I'll tag you and uh, you'll get one of these coupons you can share with your friends. So when you're talking about what you've done to improve Windows security, you'll be able to say, and by the way, you can do it too with this coupon good for two months for them. Anyhow, Take care, guys. Here we go with Mr. Jim Polito. It appears that there's a company who can they can track where your car is, and they want to sell this data to the government. What? This, by the way, this news comes as we hear that the Chinese don't want Tesla in China anymore because they think that Tesla is basically a CIA a backed company that's spying on the Chinese. All right, let's sort all this out and just bring in the voice of reason and the voice of real intellect. I'm talking about our tech talk guru and good friend, Craig Peterson. Good morning, sir. Hey, good morning. How you doing, Mr. Jim? I'm very good, Craig. We can get into the Tesla thing and the Chinese saying you're spying on us and kicking them out. And meanwhile, they're trying to they're, they're building components for our F-16 fighter jets. But that's all right. Let's get to this company. You sent me this. There's a company who collects this data tracking cars. First of all, I didn't know my car could be tracked. But anyway, and then they want to sell it. They're trying to sell it, bundle it and sell it to the United States government. Yeah, they are. Wow. Yeah, this is pretty concerning here. This is a contractor that uh, has been doing surveillance for a long time for the government. It's called Ulysses, which is an interesting name, frankly. <laughs> but where we're going with this, Jim, is a whole new direction, pardon the pun, with our cars. Uh, we now have cars that are moderately smart, to mention Tesla. 
but there are more and more coming online. And, and the idea is to have a web of cars, sensors, and cars talking to each other. We already have that basic technology existing in NASCAR and in Formula Racing, where the cars actually talk to each other. Oh they know God. how far apart they are. Yeah, isn't that something? That is kind of and cool, that's, actually. <laughs> that's what we're going to need for the cars on the road today. So I, I was watching this British show where they're racing around the world. It's like the amazing race, but they mispronounce words. <laughs> and they <laughs> <laughs> they were in China, and, and and it was just shocking to me to see some of these things. I don't know if you've seen the pictures, but there's this one road. It's 20 lanes in each direction wow. like coming up to a toll booth, backed up for miles. The traffic there is crazy. And I lived in Los Angeles for about eight years. I had a client that I used to go to, it was the largest savings and loan company in the country. And their headquarters were oh, not even 40 miles from where I lived. Well, probably close to 30 miles from where I lived out there in, in L.A. I was actually just over the line in Ventura County, for those that know the area out there. Yep. But uh, the problem that I faced was to go that 30 to 40 miles, Jim, would take me more than three hours. So I was on the road for six hours a day. And most of the congestion that we see on the road is caused by people, the, that slow person in the fast lane, and people weaving in and out of traffic, all of the things we've heard over the years. So what we've been doing is putting sensors in the roadways. Okay. You see them a lot west, and they have, if you go on an on-ramp, there's a stoplight right before you merge. Have you seen those before? Yes. Yes. So you have to come to a full stop. You have to come stop. to a full and stop. Yeah, it's crazy. What they're trying to do is when the light goes green, only one car can go through. Yeah. Is these sensors are detecting where the cars are, how fast they're going. So where we're going to is embedded sensors everywhere, communication sensors on all of our cars, just like they are at the races, so that we can now have two to three times more vehicles on the road safely and at the same time in uh, decrease the amount of time it takes no go ahead craig finish your thought <laughs> yeah which is i'm looking forward to that sort of a thing because it's going to be huge but it brings up the point that you just brought up yeah you were talking with craig peterson our tech talk guru and so craig yeah i go for all of that anything that can make us safer no well, hold on a second i don't want to give up privacy for these things moving cars along on the highway better you know, making traffic flow better. We learn every year these things. But you're right. It reminds me of the movie Demolition Man, which is supposed to be oh, yeah. in the future. And they say, okay, where is he? No, we'll just go to, 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 to. And everybody's chipped, but also every vehicle is chipped and everything else you can find. And cameras are all over the city. So you can find anybody just by the press of a button. And yeah. I, that part I don't like. I don't want that because I just think that it's inappropriate for the government to be able to do that. I, I don't we trust it being in the hands of people, especially after what happened with the old P dossier, the thing that they, the Russian collusion thing they brought up against Trump, which turned out to be absolutely false. You can hate anything you want about Trump, but that thing was false, and yet the FBI ran with it. And when, the, when I find yeah. out that the FBI, the leadership of the FBI, will run with something like that, I don't trust them with the other stuff. Yeah, we'll have an issue. So here's what we're, we're looking at right now. You've got this OBD port in your car. Every car mandated by Congress, it's in there now. It's been in there for decades now. And when you go to the car repair shop, they plug it in and... The car said, tells them, the technician, why that check engine light came on. And they are now taking that to the next step, which is they are transmitting it, transmitting that information. That OBD port, that onboard computer, knows everything about your car. It knows if your seatbelts are fashioned. Or fastened. Mm. It knows 
your, the engine, what's the temperature, what are your emissions, how hard are you accelerating? And so let's put all of this in a pot and stir it up a little bit. They are obtaining already this company called Ulysses what's called telematics data. It's all of this data about the cars already from embedded sensors, from communication sensors that are embedded in the roads that are reading our license plates as we drive under bridges or past these little cameras. Right. And pull, yeah, pulling it all together. So these cars, 100 million new cars manufactured worldwide every year, are increasingly connected to the manufacturer. And that's part of the problem China has with Tesla. Wow. Craig, here's the thing. There's not going to be any way for you to block this. If you worry about on your desktop computer or your laptop computer, if you worry about the camera being on, like the cameras they sell now even have that little thing you slide over, covers up the lens. You right. can unplug the microphone. You, you can do all those things so that you can't be monitored. But you can't do anything with this stuff if, no. if they put no. it in. Well, your Tesla, part of what China is complaining about is you, here you're driving a car around with, what is it, seven cameras on it? Yeah. Including a camera aimed at the driver, right? and then Tesla calls home every night on Wi-Fi. Mm. What data is it transmitting? What does it know? What pictures has it taken? Talking about a hack target. So China's concerned, hey, the CIA, NSA, FBI, who knows what TLA, three-letter agency, yeah. uh, might be tr tracking this stuff. And you know what? They're not wrong. Yeah, I hate, I hate to agree with the with the uh, Chinese communists on something like this, but they uh, they are right there. They don't want it. They don't want anyone taking pictures of things that went well. That basically that's what you have in a totalitarian state. And well, I want to twist this too. Okay. okay, and that is Jim. Okay, have you noticed? That I, I noticed this when I was young. My parents blamed me at, to, uh, in doing things that I never did, but that they did. And the Democrats blame Republicans for things Republicans never did, but they did. Hence the Russian hoax against President Trump, yeah. where they were saying, President Trump, collusion Russians, collusion Russians. What we're looking at now is the Chinese saying, we don't want your technology because it's spying on us. Yeah. Does that tell you something? Yeah, it really does. I do know that they don't want people freely taking video of anything in their country because they want to control any information about their country that leaves. God forbid mm -hmm. somebody in a Tesla drive by one of the Uyghur concentration camps where they're committing genocide against that Muslim minority. Somebody might pick it up on a Tesla camera and it might end up in the hands of the, uh, the public. But you're right. Craig, this was a, a fascinating fascinating segment as usual how do folks get uh, more information from craig peterson i gotta let everybody know next week i am starting that improving windows security course i've been promising for three four months now okay uh, so it it starts on monday you'll find out more but you'll only find out if you are on my newsletter list you can get all of the details, but you've got to go to gregpeterson.com. Make sure you sign up for the newsletter. You'll, letter. you'll get the show notes, including stuff that I send to Jim. You'll get that every week. You'll find out about the free trainings, about the courses, about everything that I'm doing to try and help people understand where we're at and where we're going. Excellent. Excellent. Craig, thank you so much. Always a pleasure, and we'll catch up with you next week or... There's a big tech story maybe before. Indeed. Take Thank, care. Thank you, Craig.